This is a much anticipated day for quite a while now and we're excited about it and uh, our entire college uh, family is excited that this is the beginning of a, a great new uh, level of technical education to be offered in, our, in this uh, community. Our college, like all the technical colleges, our number one and only job is workforce development. We do this with sharp focus on student success and by that we mean we want students to achieve their career goals in a very timely manner, be debt free, and enter the workforce as soon as possible. This is will allow us to increase our technical labs uh, for our much needed industrial system technician program, uh, training of electricians, welders. Uh, we'll be adding uh, several new programs, one of which is diesel mechanics which is much needed for all the logistics uh, companies that operate here in the region. This campus will affect and improve the lives of thousands of students in the future and we will support the dynamic business community of Northwest Georgia. You know, Dalton has been my home since 1972 so I'm especially excited today to share the great work being done right here with those of you who live outside of this community. We've got a lot going on here in Northwest Georgia and we're really proud to be part of it. I have an especially strong sense of pride when I see a community come together the way this community has come together to help us make this day possible. Uh, when we provide students with the chance to learn skills in a state-of-the-art facility like the one for which we're breaking ground here today, the whole community, and that's the greater community, will benefit from this expansion. A skilled workforce is what will keep Murray County and Whitfield County economically competitive, not just here in Georgia, but across the entire Southeast and all across the United States and for that matter the globe. It is wonderful to be in Northwest Georgia, incredible to be, incredible to be with Georgia Northwestern Technical College as you grow. As you grow for the students of Georgia Northwestern and as you grow for the companies of Northwest Georgia, we know the companies of this area are ready for skilled workforce. Anytime, every time, we can educate another member of this community to come out and be that next business owner, to be the next CEO, to be the next entering person within the workforce here in Northwest Georgia. We know we have done our job. And we know that with this facility, we can build upon Georgia Northwestern's 99% job placement rate in the area. So companies like Fox Systems, Shaw Industries, J&J, &J, Mohawk, and so many more here in Northwest Georgia, we are excited to continue our partnerships. It takes a partnership. Uh, if there was any word I would hope you would go away with here, it is partnerships. In politics, sometimes, for whatever reason, it is hard to put partnerships together. People want to be divided along political party label lines. They want to be divided along geographical lines. They want to be divided along their particular industry lines. It's important to their part of the state. But this is a project, as has been the case in many, many more that have already been uh, processed and are, are completed, as well as many that are on their way to being completed now. This has been a partnership. Everything that we have done over four budget cycles now has led to the culmination of this almost $29 million project. It would not have been happening today or tomorrow or whenever had these folks not voted for the budgets that these bond projects were included in. When they come together and when they vote on budgets, they're voting on what is good, not just for their particular district. They're voting on what is good in the overall picture of what's good for the state of Georgia. And that's the kind of ultimate partnership that has allowed Georgia to continue to grow. So how do you summarize all these things that have happened and will continue to happen as we move hopefully into construction next month and completion next year of this new facility? It is not just rhetoric when we thank those who are in the audience today and others who are not here for their help and their assistance and their cooperation. Because every one who's been mentioned behind that are deliberations, 
meetings, pacifying constituencies that may not have the same vision that you and I might have. So to the Whitfield County Board of Education, to the Board of Commissioners, to the commissioners of Murray County, uh, thank you all for having the courage to make this project a priority. As was pointed out, without the gift of the land from the uh, Board of Education, we really would be having to look for another place to put this building. But thank you all, and that's not, that is not something that goes unnoticed. I think great things are gonna continue to come out of this institution. I think you're gonna see many more young people have a light in their eye because they have the hope that what they're doing in the classroom is going to translate into a job and a salary to support themselves and their families. Thank you all for being here.